Hey everybody, Zach here, and uh, I just wanted to show you something that I'm going to work on here at the house today. Um, a lot of people out there will talk about, you know, having toilet issues, and uh, I'm having one that I don't really hear talked about all that often. Uh, usually people talk about, uh, see if I can get down there, the flapper down in there leaking. Um, or having issues with the float uh, but what I'm actually having a problem with is this guy right here the fill valve or whatever you want to call it but uh, I'll just go ahead and flush this right here and uh, when this starts to fill back up we'll kind of get in here close there it goes right there that is actually leaking out the sides it's actually fills up really quick, but once it gets up to the top here, I'll show you what happens. Right as it fills up from the top. There we go. Yep. Fun stuff. So, uh, for those that don't know, that's not supposed to happen. And, uh, so basically the issue that I'm having is that it's leaking constantly and if I go in here on this little piece right here then what will eventually happen is that little overflow tube right there the water will get all the way up to the top of it and continuously go over the top now what's the big deal about that um, well the big deal about that is that unlike a leaking flapper where the level of the water in the tank will drop when that happens with a leaking flapper it'll drop this float arm and you'll actually hear this uh, constantly going off and filling the tank back up. Well, <clears throat> when that's leaking and doing so quietly, it just very quietly runs over the tube down into the bowl and straight out the drain without making any noise. So basically what I'm going to do today is, since you can see that this float arm's really nasty, and and uh, I could probably stand to replace this. I've already had to adjust the uh, rubber on it uh, once before. So I'm basically just gonna go ahead and gut the toilet, which is perfectly good, and put in one of these, a uh, dual flush converter kit. Now, <coughs> Hopefully, whenever I go to put this in, I don't have any issues because I remember hearing a while back that sometimes these dual flush kits don't really work with the uh, uh, more water efficient toilets because the bowls are or the uh, tanks are too small. But uh, I didn't see anything on the box or on their website, so hopefully, fingers crossed, this will go okay. We'll see you back in a few whenever I uh, get done. Okay, guys, so uh, what's going on right now is basically I was right, and uh, since this is a high flow or low flow or whatever, more water efficient tank, um, <coughs> what I'm running into is this knob right back here that uh, latches this little insert that replaces the flapper onto this tube. Those notches, since there's such a small gap back there uh, on my tank fill tube basically <coughs> I can't get it on there so what I'm about to do is I'm about to try to shave a little bit off the back on that knob right there to uh, see if I can't make it fit so we'll see how that goes okay guys uh, I was able to shave the back off of that piece and I think I finally got everything in here and uh, set up. I just have to eventually set some uh, water levels with uh, that green nozzle right there and that blue slide right there on that main tube but other than that uh, should be ready to rock. Uh, and you know something I didn't mention earlier was that <laughs> the reason that this is such a big deal is you know that you see those articles online all the time about uh, having you know just a dripping faucet that runs all the time and how much that can run up your water bill well this was basically like having the tap 
like turned on and running constantly for us. So we saw like a, you know, this, this started last month and we saw like at least a $10 jump in our water bill from this. Now granted there could have been some usage variances in play there, but, uh, <coughs> but yeah, we uh, saw a big price jump in just having that running water. So, um, you know, like I said, I run into the issues with the piece not wanting to fit, but uh, I was able to get around it. So if you have one of the uh, smaller, more uh, water efficient toilets, you might want to uh, know that going in you may have some issues with stuff fitting properly. Uh, I also had an issue with the top of the float uh, or the fill valve uh, on where it needed to be with the top of the tank. I couldn't get my lid to set down all the way, but uh, you know, other than that, if you have a bigger, older toilet that is giving you problems, uh, I would definitely recommend upgrading to one of these. Um, you know, just for, you know, like I said, the added uh, water cost advantage of having dual flush and uh, being able to save a little bit on your water bill every month. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be big, but it'll definitely add up over the course of a year. So, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that and... I don't know why you'd enjoy looking at my toilet for the last however long, but uh, yeah, so uh, good luck. Peace out.